Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm coming at you with the second Superdrug series, which is going to be a full face makeup of Room All London. So let's just get straight into it. If you're new here, don't forget to check out the full series. I'll put a link to the playlist below and don't forget to subscribe. The first thing we're gonna do is prime today. So I picked up the Radiance Primer and this says it's an illuminating primer for all day. Oh, it smells really nice. The formation is like a cream and then it's it gives you like a little glow. It's really nice, really moisturizing. It's starting to get a bit tacky, like I can feel it getting tacky, so. Okay, so the foundation I picked up was the Elastin Matte Full Coverage Matte full coverage mattifying foundation and it says this has got a new formula it's a mousse so i'm not sure how to take this because i don't normally get on with mousses but we'll see it's a shake okay so yeah it's definitely a mousse a mousse texture i'm just gonna actually pop it all over the face first and then we'll rub it in with a beauty blender It's definitely mattifying, it's definitely, you can tell, it's, it's actually really good coverage. I need to rub it in a little bit better, but the coverage is definitely there, as you can see. I remember back in the day when they didn't have nude lipsticks, like nude lipsticks weren't really a thing. And so you used to just put foundation on your lips. Did anyone else used to do that? I'm talking like back in the day. This shade is a little bit light for me, but that's okay. We will fix that. But yeah, the color's a little bit light for me. So I'm looking a little pale right now, but we'll fix it with a bit of a contour. Like that. The only issue I could see is if you had dry skin, which I do have a few patches and the foundation is holding on to dear life for them but the coverage is there and especially I think if you've got really oily skin this would be really nice for you because it's definitely mattifying there's no shininess to it I mean I've put on an illuminating primer and it's completely just mattified into that so okay so next I'm going to move on to the brows so for the brows I thought I would try out their brow pencil this is the brow micro pencil I'm always raving about the Revolution one, so if this one is as good, then that will be a bonus. Okay. Very pigmented. Colour is good. So that's quite nice actually that's done a good job quite quick as well let's try this one this is my problematic brow we'll see how it handles next i'm taking the lasting matte concealer this is the one that goes alongside the foundation And like I say, like in terms of coverage, this is kind of like the best I could find. But it definitely has that level of coverage, which is good. I mean, yeah, that's definitely brightened that under eye, which is good. Yeah, that's nice. Um hasn't completely covered my under eye definitely brightened but i can still see a little bit of um my like dark under eye my whatever you call it so for the eyes there were three palettes it took me a long time but i decided to go for the spice edition because it's just got these beautiful colors in so i don't know what i'm going to do yet we'll just wing it the first thing i'm going to do is actually take the concealer and use this as a eye base i couldn't find any 
So yeah, this is basically what we're gonna use. I'm gonna put this on quite thick. Makes a really nice eye primer. So let's just decide what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna start off, I think. Oh my God, I wanna do this so many colors. I'm gonna take this color here. Wow, that's pigmented. That is super pigmented. Oh my God. Guys, did that is so pigmented, but did you see how beautifully that just blended out? I'm having to use like literally hardly any product as well, which is nice. Oh, so pretty. What I'm gonna do, I think, next is take uh, this color next to it, which is slightly darker. They are so pigmented. So this color is very similar, it's just a little bit darker. So I'm just gonna pop that in our little crease there. Guys, the final color I'm gonna go in with, just on that lid there, is this guy here. And I'm just gonna add a little shimmer. A natural color here. And just pop that over the lid. Just blend it up a little bit. I really just want to go in with him because he's like calling out. Let's just try it. Let's just try a little bit of him. Just maybe, I don't know, here. There's a lot of like burgundy reds in this palette. I'm gonna take the highlight color in the palette, which is really white. And I'm guessing it's gonna be very pigmented. Oh yeah, she pigmented, all right. Do you guys see that? Oh my God. So I'm just gonna brush through my lashes, which need doing. My hair's getting done next week as well, and I can't wait because the roots are just not a joke right now. The next thing that I'm gonna do is take this Insta Duo Contour Stick. I'm gonna use it very sparingly. Cause these make me nervous, I'm not gonna lie. I don't really tend to cream contour, but I wanted to try it out for you guys. It's all right, it's nice. It blends well, nice and easy, which is good. It's a little bit, um, I, I'm not sure I like the tone of it. It's got almost like a bit of an orange tone, which I'm not a huge fan of. Can you guys see it? Okay, so next I'm gonna go in with my powder. So I just got the Lasting Radiance Powder. It's got like a bit of a glow to it. Okay, so next I'm gonna finish the eyes. So I did just get a smudge exaggerate waterproof cold pencil. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this on my waterline. And to finish this look, I'm gonna go back in with this dark red color here and just pop this underneath the eye. Smudgy, smudgy. Oh my god, that mouth is open again. Shut your mouth. So then for mascara, I got the Lash Accelerator Endless. Because I liked the wand. Oh, okay. Okay, Rebel. Okay. Okay, so next I'm going to try the contour. Now, this is the Rimmel London Highlight Blush and Contour Duo. So I'm going to try the contour and the blush in this. No, I'm not. I'm going to try the contour and the highlight in this. Get rid of those chins I've got going on at the minute. I'm in winter mode and I'm just eating constantly, which is not good. I really like that. 
really like that. Fave contour here, guys. Everything just blends out so well. The contour, just so nice. I'm just gonna blend it in because the camera is picking it up really bright. It's not that bright in person. Double chin who? So then let's try the highlight. Please highlight, live up to my expectations because this would be amazing to travel with as well. Oh, Rimmel, you did me good. You did me good. Rimmel London. So the last two products I got were lip products. So I got the lip liner in Exaggerate. This Addiction 018. And then I got the Satin State Lip Colour, which looks like this. And this is in the shade as it. I'm gonna do this a bit backwards because I want to try this first. So this is mattifying, moisturising, which is good. The lip liner is also very lightweight and creamy. Okay, so that is my lip shine. It's a nice colour, it's like a light pinky colour, um, which kind of just goes with the makeup. And lastly, I'm taking a finishing spray, so I'm going to take the Insta Fix and Go setting spray. That smells super nice. So that is today's look, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If there are products I would recommend from this line, it would be definitely the Spice Edition eyeshadow, the three set piece, whatever, contour. Definitely like the eyebrow pencil and the eyeliner and then the lip products. It's nice. It has an amazing smell. Obviously, I don't know if it's going to work, but we'll see. Just gives you a little bit of a nice finish as well from that powder. And also, the powder was quite nice as well. Really set the face um, and just give you a little bit of a radiance. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Please leave any recommendations below of brands that you want me to complete this with. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.